guys, MJ here from Night Cross Ball. Welcome back to the next episode of What Do You Recommend? Okay, so you realize the background and everything here is red because today's topic is about red light. So I dive straight into the question from Daryl Chua. I work as a photographer and I need a light that can light up paths in the dark. Could be close range spill, yet also able to provide some sort of red light so that it does not affect my eyes. Light sensitivity when doing astrophotography, alright? Do you have any recommendations? The ability to use hands-free will be a plus. He also mentioned that currently he's using Nightcore Thumb Light. Okay, he currently has this light. But the red light is not sufficient, okay? So there are red lights that help you to see which is what you need in this case and there are light red lights that help you be seen okay so things like the Tiki LE and the thumb all right and the, all the NU05 series these red lights are meant to be seen so if you black out everything these are kind of lights that you can spot someone wearing from far okay it is not for you to point at the ground and be able to see something, okay? So that's a clear differentiation on the kind of lights that you're looking for. So next part, Dara mentioned he needs something hands-free that can light the ground. So slowly go up to the best red lights to help you see. Plus on top of the hands-free stuff. First, we start with the NU32. Alright, this is advertised as a white light and red light. So here's how it looks like, okay? Okay, this is the red light. So I'll just do a running number up. Thumb, red light is 0 0.25 lumens. The Tiki's LE red light is 3 lumens, alright? The NU32, the one I'm showing you now, the red light is 9 lumens. It does a good job of illuminating spot. You realise that this red light is spot, but it doesn't do a good job of, you know, covering a wide area when you're walking around in the dark. So next up would be the NU25. Okay, the NU25, Red light is actually 13 lumens, so it's a step up from the previous models. There you go, so this is how the red light looks like. It has a low and high. At the red light, this red light is flat. You can just compare it with the NU32 here. You see the very clear, obvious difference. Spot, red light. Flat, red light, okay? But of course, when you have such a flat red light, you, you can't look at the ground and see where you're walking because it's a flat. Like it's mainly for like this this distance. Alright, so the NU25's uh, red light is 13 lumens. So still might not be the best fit. Okay, now we come to the champion of today's video is the NU17. Alright, this is the latest and smallest headlamp from Nightcore. Look at how small that is. And the red light comes at a 23 lumen red light. This was 0 0.25 lumens. And then from 23 lumens of the NU17, this low. And high, look at that. 23 lumens and look at the spot. Good tight spot for walking around, navigating and a very nice flat spill. So Nikon has really, really nailed the, the way the auxiliary lights work, right? So if you look here, there are a bunch of different LEDs. Red, okay, white, oh, there's a red blinker. And then you go white, okay, your primary white, which is also a nice spot flat. And then if you hold the white, you go into your close range, CRI. So if you need this for your managing your camera gear, if for, for some reason something is color coded, this is the perfect light, perfect flat as well for you to manage all your gear. Okay, so the way everything positioned here, the way the reflectors work, the LED, this is the perfect light for your use right now because you also mentioned uh, hands-free, right? So this comes with a headband like this, a very slim headband. Also, if you look on the inside, okay, you see this silicone line here. This actually draws sweat away from your forehead, alright? So it gets drawn down to the side. So this is pretty, pretty smart. If you're storing this in your bag and you don't want accidental activation, now the mount actually covers the button. Unlike previous versions like the NU25, if you see this, the buttons are all exposed. So there are times when if you have this in your bag, you might jumble it around something press and then the light turns on in your bag, which is what you don't want. So the NU17 solves that problem by having a protective cover over the button so you'll never activate this by accident okay when you want to turn it on just pop it out and then press okay another good thing also as well is the micro usb charging port is now at the bottom which makes absolute sense right so there are some lights that are still on the sides like the nu32 if you see the charging ports on the side so when it rains it rains heavily the water sort of seeps through and may get into the port Whereas on the NU17, the port is at the bottom, so water doesn't immediately go into the port. It just you know, runs off this way. So it's very smart. They've taken all the learnings from the previous uh, headlamp models and dumped it all into this NU17. Alright, so now I'm gonna 
black out the whole place and do a comparison between you know what kind of red lights you can see and be seen with it. Alright guys, this is the NU17. Everything is blacked out so color-wise you can really see how the spot looks like. So this is how it looks like on the white, white light mode. CRI LEDs. Look at that. Immediately you can see everything is warmer. The color looks better because this is using high CRI. Look at a very nice flood. Okay. Perfect for organizing your gear, looking around. Alright. So next one will be the red light. Everything in front is very nicely focused. I mean you can you can really organize your gear. You can, it's a very wide coverage. Alright. So if you look if I'm gonna walk around on this, you can see that it also lights up here, alright? It's big and wide enough. Okay, so this is the NU32 on brightest. Okay, you can see NU32 is meant for you know long distance throw, so you see the hotspot is much tighter. If we jump to the CRI LEDs of the NU32, not as nice as the NU17, you can see it's still a bit white. There you go. Look at the spot on this. It literally just lights up one circle in front of you. Okay, so if I walk around on red light, it's also a bit difficult to see because you know you, you're just lighting up one spot as you walk around. This is pretty not the best light. You know? The best one is still the NU17. Alright. Alright guys, lights are back on. So let's see if you've seen in pitch black how awesome the NU17 is, right? So Daryl Chua and any other uh, guys that have to navigate around using only red light, just get the NU17, alright? These are available in a bundles of 1, 3 and 10, so if you want to do a group buy on this, or you just want a bunch of these to as spare or back up for your guys, you can, the best deal would be the pack of 3, alright? So remember, as we mentioned earlier, there are red lights that help you see and red lights that help you be seen. So if you want to have your gear around in the dark, tripods especially, there's, there's a problem with, you know, you have your tripod set up and people just walk into your tripod because they can't see your tripods there. So for exactly that purpose, you can get the lights where to help things be seen. So, so for example, the thumb, you can just have this on the tripod, you know, on your, on your backpack or something like this. So in pitch dark, you know, people can see that, you know, there's a tripod there doing a time-lapse shot so that don't just walk into someone else's uh, gear, alright? That's it, NU17. If you have any more questions, just uh, comment down below. And if you do answer questions, you do get a Tube 2.0 for free. That's it, MJ signing out.